Hey everyone, welcome back to Lucky by Nature. Angelic Vixen here. Today let's talk about the latest update from Wildcard about there being no support for the legacy servers. Let's go over what it says. When the current servers become legacy servers on the 29th, we will no longer offer customer support to these legacy servers. All outstanding tickets to our customer support team will be wiped clean on launch day and no further tickets submitted by those playing on the legacy servers will be accepted. Going forward, our customer support team will be focused on assisting those present in the new cluster, which will not be plagued by many of the issues that occurred during the early access process. Unfortunately, it is beyond the scope of our operation to continue to offer support on legacy servers at this time. So with that said, you can imagine a lot of people are very upset about this change because they believed and even we believed that the legacy servers would still be supported. So I went back to the original post where I thought they said that. Let's go over what it says. On July 19th, they posted, to be clear, if you're playing on a legacy server, you will not be able to transfer to the new official servers and legacy servers will still receive total and complete support just like the new officials in regards to game updates and future ARC expansions, so you can expect to see future DLC servers added to the Legacy cluster. So after rereading this, I realized they never said they would give full support. Instead, it clearly states the support is only game updates and future ARC expansions. Of course, many of us didn't catch that back when they posted it in July. So as you can imagine, people are absolutely irate about this change of them not offering support to the legacy servers. If you've read the forums, you've seen it, but there is a huge firestorm of animosity toward Wildcard. People have said all kinds of things and there are just pages upon pages of comments. Some of the things people have been saying are things like, we supported you for years and you won't support us, the people who helped better your game. We helped build this player base and your game and you're going to shaft us like that? That's pretty messed up to be honest. Shame on you, Ark. If you stay on Legacy, you lose support since most players will go to the new servers. The Legacy servers will then have a low population and in three months, those will get wiped too. So they are basically forcing us to go to the new servers. Way to take a huge dump on players that got you through the launch and tested your game for you. Good to know that the players that took a gamble and bought the game preview and did your testing for you aren't as important as the ones that waited until the dirty work was done to purchase the game. So yeah, people are totally ticked off. And I went through every single page of the comments and there were so few that actually supported the change and a whole lot of people that were just, they saw red. They were so upset and honestly, I don't blame them. So, I mean, I feel for these people and I know what you're going through. We have spent over 200 days on legacy servers and yeah, it sucks. Um, recently, we experienced our best giga literally sink into the ground. It took us forever to try to maneuver the giga out of the ground. We got lucky and we were able to get it back out. But reality is, even if we had reported it to Wildcard, they would not have helped us get our lost giga due to their glitch. Um, we know because it's happened to us before. Um, so does losing support really matter? Does it really change anything? Have we really been supported this whole time? I don't think so. But really, I mean, the reality of the situation is legacy servers are extremely tainted. There are too many things wrong. And like they said, you won't have to deal with that in the new servers. Well, at least that's what they're saying. I can only hope. But at least it's a fresh start and everyone's on an even playing field. Um, it's pretty clear they can't or won't fix the problems on the legacy servers. This is likely why they don't want to spend any more manpower supposedly trying to fix and correct it. Um, I feel like most people though need more than five days to break down and move everything and I definitely don't feel like five days is fair to all of these loyal ARC players for them to move off the servers that they're actually deleting. We want to find the positives in this change. It is so easy to succumb to negativity, to dwell on it and sink into a sea of despair over everything that is being lost. You know, Beast and I are hardcore ARC players. So if we don't play ARC, we'd just be playing a different game. The only difference is we actually really love this game. We love all of the aspects and the challenges that go along with playing ARC. So we are going to the new servers. Um, we've decided that we're going to challenge ourselves and what we're going to focus on is building up and so that we can ascend before anyone else on our server. At least that's our goal and that's what we're setting our mind to. 
um, we will be playing both PvE and PvP, just as we do now. For us, we do this for fun, but we know a lot of people get really personal with this game, but we want to lead by example, and we want to promote positivity, and to do so, we have to be the voice of that. You know, and at the very least, Wildcard is giving us an opportunity to keep our stuff, so that in and of itself is positive, considering most early access, just delete it. You know, remember, this was early access when you decided to play it, and even though I wish they would have kept the support for the legacy servers, I understood what I was getting myself into when I started playing this game. So I really can't be all that mad at Wildcard, and at the very least, they are leaving the majority of the legacy servers up. There are still going to be quite a few. Really, I'm just happy for the chance to be moving forward to finally play the official arc and to start, this one's a big one, and to start on non-duped servers. That's positive in and of itself as well. We believe this change in the long term is going to be very positive. So please share your thoughts and opinions about this change. Are you going to the new servers? Are you on one of the servers that's getting wiped? Are you going to quit the game? Like, what do you feel about this change? You know, let's talk about it. So that's it for this video. Until next time, keep surviving. My work saved the human race.